I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning that God has given us to come together once again in His presence. For our meditation today, let's turn to Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is, God with us. When man disobeyed God and became the slave of sin, God himself drove man out of the garden. Many people think God in the Old Testament is a God of judgment, and that is why man was punished for his mistakes. Now in the New Testament, it seems that God is a loving God, and so many take their mistakes lightly. But it is not the truth. We serve a God who never changes. God is gracious and loving from the beginning and will be forever. God cannot deny Himself. He will be the same for eternity. Man did not plead to the Lord so that he can be back in God's presence. He knew for sure that he cannot abide in the presence of the Holy God as sin rules in him. But thank God that he himself came down to be with us. When we were yet sinners, God came down to this world to be with us. The omniscient God knew that man will never accept his love. He will deny him and will walk in their own ways. But still God left his glory above and came to this world to be with us. The child born in Bethlehem is not a normal child who has a beginning at the time of his birth. But the eternal God who cannot be bound by time entered the sphere of time to be with man for long 33 and a half years. To be with man like man. Outside the Garden of Eden, man tried his level best to walk on his own, to be God by himself. When he failed, he tried different things and ways to replace God. But till now man cannot find a substitute for God. Though he has achieved many things through his knowledge, still man's soul knows that he would find peace only in God. As man is helpless to have a relationship with God, God himself by his abundant grace and love came into this world to save him. Heaven itself declared the child born will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. But it is impossible for a human being to understand this mystery with his knowledge. Man is ready to accept man as God and serve him. But to accept this child who seems like a normal child, for that one's eyes must be opened by the Holy Spirit God himself. That is why very few people of that time realized who this child really is. Let us look at our own lives. We claim ourselves that we are believers. We have surrendered our life into his hands and accepted him as the Lord of our life. Still many a times we forget the fact that God is with us. Just like the disciples who started worrying and pleading to the Lord to help them, when the waves shook their boats, we too forget the fact that God is with us, always, and start crying as we are all alone. Do you have the assurance that you have not believed in any guru or man-made God, but have trusted in the Creator, God Himself? Who is your Creator and Father? Do we realize that? Do we have the assurance that He is always with us? Is He Emmanuel for you? Do you experience His presence in the midst of every storms and waves? Do you experience the peace of His presence? If not, take a minute and pray to the Lord to open your eyes to see who He really is. Let this Christmas strengthen our faith. 
that he is my Emmanuel. The world remembers Jesus during Christmas time. But for me, he is the Emmanuel who is with me always in all circumstances of my life. He will never, never leave me. May the good Lord help us to trust him more during these days. Shall we close our eyes, bow our head, and let's pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful opportunity you have given us as we begin this new day. Father, thank you for your precious word. You are our Emmanuel. Thank you for the abundance of grace. Heavens came down so that glory could fill our soul. We are not worthy, Father, but it's you who has made us worthy. You're always there beside us, no matter what our circumstances are. You're always there. Lead us. Guide us. May your name be glorified. I give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. Let us be strengthened in the Lord. May the Lord help each one of us. His presence is there beside us. Till our last breath, our Lord is coming very soon. May God bless each one of us. Maranatha.